I'm not on drugs, point blank period. I'm not on drugs and I'm not drinking alcoholically. I have severe mental health conditions. You guys don't take me seriously. I refuse to take the medicine because I don't want to be chemically castrated. Almost died this week, dude. Y'all don't care. Y'all don't give a fuck. They waited until my hands were behind my back, cuffed, lit my ass up 150,000 volts. Facing the concrete, man. I'm fighting for my life, dude. I'm fighting for every ounce of my being. I told them, please don't murder me out here, officer. Please don't kill me in front of all these people. I just want one more chance, please. Please just give me one more fucking chance. I swear to God, I won't do it again. I ain't even did nothing. Somebody put something in my damn drink. In the vast digital landscape, one figure captures the attention of so few with his outrageous behavior and a trail of unhinged moments. This figure is Nicholas Keeley Harris, known across the internet and in several jurisdictions by several aliases including Nick Frontagem, Fit with Nick, Nikisarek 864, Nick Wins, and Jack Janitor. His journey from obscurity to infamy, followed by a startling descent into pleading for hotel money on the streets, reveals a tumultuous narrative surrounding this online persona. Nick's story begins in his youth when he took his grandparents' car without permission, setting the stage for a life filled with instability in New Orleans, NOLA. This early act signals the onset of behavior that would become increasingly problematic. His rap sheet unfurls like a carpet of red flags, boasting cameos in battery, domestic violence, and an unexpected genre shift to property damage. Nick's videos have a few characteristics, his overdramatic acting that he thinks is fooling the chat, his gay baiting for OnlyFans customers, and heavy drug abuse. Give a fuck if you got titties or not, bro. You don't fucking impress me. If you're not trying to fucking help me, get the fuck out of my way. If you're not trying to fucking help me, get the fuck out of my way. If you're a female and you're feeling some type of way about the way I'm speaking, too fucking bad. Cancel me. Oh fucking well. You're all just anyway. You all hate men any fucking way. If I ever dated men, it would be simply because I hate women. And I don't, I'm not there yet. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm this close to saying, fuck it, I don't want to date women anymore. I'll go get me a trans person or something. I'll go get me a little fin boy or something and call it a day. How about that? Do not ask me questions that are not about buying content or, hey man, I have a job for you. Hey man, I have a room for you. That's the only thing we're discussing here. This is very serious, okay? I just lost every thing. I just lost everything good in my life. Fucking completely ruined my reputation. There's nowhere in South Carolina that I can go. There's nowhere in Greenville that I could go that I'm welcome. So it's all because of my site. It's all because of my Twitter. I'm stuck, y'all. People don't like the fact that I'm so open about what I do. And they make up lies, they slander me, and they get me kicked out of everywhere. Fuck this. I could go to Atlanta. Atlanta would probably open me with welcome open arms. I'd go to Midtown Atlanta, Peachtree Street. Start hanging out at the bars and shit, meeting people, get a job. I might do that. You know what I might do? I might just go to Atlanta this weekend and see what I find. Shit, why not? I got Grinder on my phone. Why not? I got Grinder on my phone. Moving to Texas would be better. Okay. I've been to Texas before. I've been to Houston before. So go there. Eat my New city, new job, new place to stay with somebody who has connections, somebody who's well off, somebody who doesn't need to take advantage of me, somebody that doesn't need me, they want to help me. I can, I can offer money, I can offer my companionship. I can, if you're a type of person, if you're a homeowner, a older person that, you know, maybe you have a gardener, maybe you have a landscape person, you could fire that person and you can hire me. And I can go get another job too. I could be the person that takes care of your home. I could be the person that takes care of your yard. I could be the person that takes care of your vehicles. I can do all of those things. Male or female. Male or female. Either is fine. I do have connections in New Orleans. I do have connections in New Orleans. I do have my former regulars that used to come and see me at the bar when I was a dancer. One of them just sent me an email saying that I could stay at their house in New Orleans. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to go back to New Orleans. It's a huge risk. It is a huge risk for me to go to New Orleans. So that's probably not going to happen. But there are people that know me that want to help. I'm trying to see what else my options are. I'm a bodybuilder who's 30 years old with a huge dick, ripped body, HIV negative, STD negative across the board. You'll pay me 1K a week for what? 
in Idaho, okay? Message me, we'll speak, 1K a week sounds good. Message me, we can talk. I'm gonna go to whatever the most financially beneficial and safest and nicest situation is. I don't wanna just move into somebody's house. Well, I got you a room. Uh, okay. Huh? Like one at work. Okay. You got any more alcohol? I don't have any alcohol. This shit is nasty, bro. These just think that we're supposed to worship the fucking ground that we walk on. Bro, get the fuck out of my face. I wouldn't spit in your goddamn direction. The fuck? You don't impress me. Just give it to me. I don't care about them. Just give it to me. I'm just tired, of, bro. I'm just tired of people playing with me, bro. Like, I'm tired of like every day I log on, every day I come on here, and it's like it's me doing the right things, and then it's people just fucking with me, dude. That shit's crazy, bro. That shit's fucking crazy. That shit is crazy, bro. I just want stability. I just want an okay place to be. I just want a job. I just want like a decent living situation. And I'm trying to accomplish that. And people want to fucking play with me, bro. Play with my damn life. Bro, that's the last thing you want to do. I promise. Especially right now. The last thing you want to do is play with me, dude. You might not get what you're looking for today. You might have your little peace. And you might be able to say something that makes me look crazy today. But please understand that I'm going to remember you from today. Not months from now and you're gonna think that I fucking forgot <laughs> I didn't forget I didn't fucking forget I screenshotted you I took down your information I took down whatever the fuck I could get and I'm saving you for later okay I'm saving you for later for when I feel safe and when I feel okay please please understand every last person Every last individual that didn't come in here with a blank profile, if you came in here with your real, dude, if you came in here with your real, if you didn't come in, in here on no fucking like fake ass profile with somebody else's picture, you're fucking hit. I'm nine hours into Nick content, and I'd be lying if I said I felt I was closer to telling Nick's story accurately. I'm going to let Nick tell his story because he's got plenty to say. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Imagine only using like 15% of your body. <laughs> Ooh, I'm back. Lord, I'm back too, boy. Public bathroom workout. Y'all ain't sharing a lot or nothing. It's 651. How we ain't got people in here yet? That's crazy. Y'all want me to act out. Y'all want me to. Y'all want me to do all type of shit for y'all. Tell all type of stories and take y'all all kind of places and shit. Y'all can't even get me 1K people in the chat. Y'all can't even get me 150K likes. Y'all just want me to look like absolute LOL cow, huh? You got me f***ed up. <laughs> 1K people or 500K likes. Because y'all ruined my life. Yeah. And I was nice to everybody. So if y'all don't spoil me from now on, I'm going to start acting like a dickhead, bro. So y'all better start sharing that live, tapping that screen, and getting some likes up there, bro. I'm serious. I don't care who unfollows me, man. You're not going to sit here and patronize me and degrade me, leak my address, put me in danger. You know how many times my life could have been taken over these past two years? Do you understand? Do you understand? I understand now. I didn't then. I understand. I'm not playing around with this thing, man. I'm not. Give me my engagement. You won't have comment privileges. You can, screen, you can screen whatever you want. I don't care. I will make sure I am intentionally allowing you guys to get your content for Discord, Reddit, etc. Because I truly don't give a shit. Comments would have been off a long time ago, months ago. Name one time comments ever got turned off for videos, for posts, for anything. Only thing I ever did to hide myself away was put myself in a rehab. Not because I was scared of y'all, because I was scared of me. I'll go out there and I'll, I'll really will. I'll, it'll, it really will. It'll, it really will be a wrap. Not for nobody else. 
I ain't taking nobody with me. But if I decide I'm done one day, I promise you I'm tired. I'm exhausted. And I don't have time for this shit anymore. I, I understand that I am in a prison. Like, I, I understand that I'm in a prison, right? If it ever gets as bad as it ever was, I'm not sticking around for it. Does that make sense? If, it, if I have to live this life, disappointment after failed relationship, after failed pregnancy attempt, after cheating, after in gay bar, after gay bar, after some dude's house, after some girl who, you know, I'm snow. I'm tired. I'm tired of giving all of me to everyone and getting nothing in return. <laughs> I fucking hate myself so bad, dude. Like, you just don't understand. You just don't understand it hurts bad. So, oh, that's really tragic and sad and pathetic and all that stuff. So we need to quit that right now. We need to, and that needs to stop. That needs to absolutely stop. So we're going to quit that right now. So listen, mm. Mm. emotions, mm. how do we turn those off, right? <laughs> mm. Stuff it down with brown. <laughs> Have you ever watched, <laughs> ever watched, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> That's one of my favorite shows. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, brother. Some girl was nice to me tonight and then she quit being nice to me. I didn't do anything. So whatever. And I'm not as mean as everybody else. So I go into a bathroom and cry. <laughs> but it could be so much worse than that. It could be so much worse than that. It could be so much worse than that, man. Do you know the things that I used to do to not feel these feelings? You can't run from who you are. You literally can't. <laughs> Dude, you just have to, bro. You just fucking have to, bro. You just have to. You can have to, bro. You have to. You have to deal with it. You have to allow yourself to go through this cringy ass moment and allow yourself to feel your feelings and do the things that you need to do and get through it, get made fun of, have people feel how they feel. Who gives a fuck? That's the only thing I've been trying to tell you guys for three years. Who gives a fuck about what a fuck I gotta say to you? about you man as long as you're not hurting anybody i promise you you're okay i promise you i promise you man just don't hurt anybody even when they hurt you do you not get that do you not get that from like my story dude like is that not your like takeaway dude it's not worth it look how this shit blows up in your face bro like whole fucking life will be ruined bro i can't go anywhere i can't do anything the only thing i can do successfully gay bar bro like you ever thought in a million years that i would end up in a place like this or doing something like this do you think that i'm ashamed no it's not the shame of what i'm doing it's simply the fact that i know i'm capable for more and nobody wants to give me an opportunity because of gossip insane to me man none of the people that have anything negative to say about me would ever 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 in a million ten million years Walk up to me to my face and have a conversation with me about it. The way they say things online, I would never respond in a way that would make you feel like you're in harm's way. I would have an adult conversation with you. I would hear you out. I would shut the fuck up for once. I would listen to you and see what your qualms, what your inquiries, what your resentments and what your problems and what your questions are with Nicholas, okay? And let's find out how quickly and exactly we can resolve these issues. And by the way, I'm sorry, so sincerely and deeply sorry for any harm that I may have caused you or that you may have perceived me to have ever caused you. Listen to the language that I'm using, the context. You're not speaking to a person who's incapable of understanding what you need to tell them, okay? I tend to over-talk people until they give me a reason to shut up. All right. Intelligence turns into madness. You want to be happy, stay stupid. Don't care about anything. Don't try to do anything. If you want to be happy, just don't ask questions. Let people tell you what to think and what to do and where to go and who to date and how to dress and all of it and who to be. 
Let others assign your identity and you will be just fine as long as you can conform. As long as you can follow their rules and you can make sure that, you know, you don't cause any problems for them to not want to take care of you because they have to take care of you to control you, you know. If that's the way you wish to live, by all means, proceed. But me personally, I wish to live with a sense of liberty. I wish to sense. I wish to live with a sense of 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 free will, man. I want to feel like I wake up and make my own choices. I know by the time I by the time I when it's time for me to get some money, I don't make my own choices anymore. Until it comes to my boundaries. When it comes to my boundaries, I stay firm. There's no dollar amounts that will ever make me do the things that I don't want to do that I have no desire to do. Okay. As far as the things that I absolutely do not want to do, that I absolutely have never thought about wanting to do on my own, there's no dollar amount that's going to satisfy that memory stored in my bank. Do you understand? $100,000. It'd be a hard bargain. It'd be a very long, very long consideration. It's just not where I'm at today because I know that I have the energy and I have the brain power and the able body to go out and at least make enough money for at least a hotel room every single day, a bite to eat every single day. From his initiation into the digital world, Nick's trajectory has been marked by unpredictable and controversial twists. His story is a complex blend of fame, misfortune, and controversy, offering a window into the darker sides of online infamy. Why don't you get a new girl? It's not that simple. See, here's the thing about dating women, okay? If a woman wants you, she will make it obvious and she will allow you a door to walk through. If she don't allow you that door to walk through, you ain't going nowhere, bro. So I don't like being, I don't like begging. I don't like running around looking like a fucking lost puppy dog trying to get some fucking attention, man. When I had to choose my words carefully, man. Like I don't want to feel lonely and desperate while I feel lonely and desperate. Does that make sense? It's not desperation. It's just like, man, I've had a human being that has been with me all moments besides working hours of every day through every single situation, through every single emotion. You know, you get used to that. You get used to having a person there, man. And then now all of a sudden there's no one there and there's a big old scary world. You could die, bro. Walk outside, go outside, just go outside. It ain't sweet, bro. Shit's dangerous as fuck. I don't care where you live. You don't have to live in New Orleans for things to be dangerous, man. All you have to do is be around other human beings. That's why it's not so scary for me to be in New Orleans because I know it's not New Orleans. It's people. But I'm free. That's right. I'm free. I'm free and I'm miserable. What's up, uh, Alan? Love you, buddy. You know? Came back here to fucking... Came back here to fucking... I'm free and I'm fucking miserable. What's up, uh, Alan? Love you, buddy. You know? came back here to fucking do better and some unfortunate things have happened since i've been here and it's leaving a real bad taste in my mouth man you know i don't know i don't know what else i can do to fucking make you love me mom dad grandpa sister i don't care who's watching right now i don't know what i can do to make you love me and accept me i'm not on drugs point blank period i'm not on drugs and i'm not drinking alcoholically i have severe mental health conditions you guys don't take me fucking seriously I refuse to take the medicine because I don't want to be chemically castrated. Almost died this week, dude. Y'all don't care. Y'all don't give a fuck. They waited until my hands were behind my back, cuffed, lit my ass up 150,000 volts, facing the concrete, man. I'm fighting for my life, dude. I'm fighting for every ounce of my being. I told them, please don't murder me out here, officer. Please don't kill me in front of all these people. I just want one more chance, please. Please just give me one more fucking chance. I swear to God, I won't do it again. I ain't even did nothing. Somebody put something in my damn drink. I know when I've been dosed, bro. It's up to, you don't have to believe me, man. I don't care, man. I don't care, bro. I'm not going to die out here. I'm not. I'm not going to get back on drugs out here. I'm not going to give these people what they want. I know that's what they want. They want to see me spun out. They want to see me cracked out. They want to see me not being able to hold my fucking head up. Man, no. I did that already. Man. Man, come on, bro. Man, beat me the fuck up, man. Put me in the fucking hospital, bro. Oh, man. All over my whole fucking body, man. Come on, man. I got these all over my fucking body right now, bro. They was putting knees in me. They was putting elbows in me. Come on, man. They was talking shit to me while they was doing it. Bro, it's going to come to a point one day. I I'm so afraid of the day that I actually do have to fight somebody. Where I actually do get the upper hand. And I actually do have to, 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 to do that, man. Your mental health is so important. Your physical health is important. But your mental health is so important.
loving you right now, you need to start loving yourself. I promise. Because right now, that's what I'm going through. I'm having a hard time. You know why? Because I never knew how to begin with. Yeah. Yeah, we never, we skipped that chapter. I don't want to be this person, man. I don't want to be, I don't want to be a dancer. I don't want to be, I don't want to be, n none of the things that you guys perceive that I think is like, uh, that you think I'm flexing about. Phone's about to die. I need to go grab my charger. Here, hang out with TikTok for a minute. It doesn't charge out here. Huh? That plug doesn't work. Are you kidding me? No. Look. I just, mm, my phone's about to die, man. Wallet. Wallet's well, in my back pocket. Yes, I'm sober. Stop accusing me of using drugs. You don't you don't want to see what that looks like. I promise you you don't. Because if you ever did see it, you'll never forget it. Let's figure it out. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I guess because I haven't been on TikTok all day. I just leave, dude. Should I just like go travel a country and just say fuck it and just just say fuck it, bro? I don't know where my head's at. I don't really know like what I'm doing here. I mean, I do know what I'm doing here, but I don't know why I'm doing it anymore after uh, what I just went through. All right, just got some gum, okay. Got me a little protein shake. Got me a little piece of, ch piece of chicken. Yes, we're losing a little bit of weight. Sucks, but at least I'm not losing my shape. I'm just losing body fat. So I've been intermittent fasting for years and years and years, and I've been doing uh, the process, bulking, losing weight, bulking, losing weight for years and years and years. I can get down to 165 pounds and be back to 190 pounds and 30 days later. Get down to 165 pounds and be back to 190 pounds and 30 days later. I'm gonna grab some. I'm gonna go grab my cigarettes from upstairs and I'll come back down. All right, you guys are plugged in. You guys are so used to me coming on here talking all this positivity. Dude, life is great. Life is beautiful. Life is great. Well, guess what? Those those emotions run out too. Yeah. Some days, life isn't so fucking beautiful to me. The ganja in there? Is it in the bathroom? Did it get thrown away? Probably. Probably so, John. But I know you had like... My hormone. It's still in your bag because I put it on the side. On the side? Did you? Shit, I didn't know that. Did you really? Fuck yeah, go look. Damn, I didn't know that. I got some gas on deck. What? Alan, you're the fucking man, bro. You handsome devil, you. Let me go look in my bag right quick and see if I see it, okay? What? I didn't know that. I would have been taking What? I didn't know that. I would have been taking me. Some devil, you. Let me go look in my bag right quick and see if I see it, okay? What? I didn't know that. I would have been taking me. By the way, the room really isn't like... Allen with me all the time. He keeps me company, but like the room's not. It's a sixty-five dollar room. It's clean. All right. So we're at Allen. Sorry. Here. In the front. This one. Or in zips. Whichever one zips. Is it the other bag? Oh, the other one. It might be this one. On the front. Yep. Okay. I mean, they have some pretty deep pockets. All right. There's one thing. What the other side? You're okay, man. You ain't, you ain't doing nothing wrong. You held my stuff for me. Yeah, that's one. Could have been on the inside bag too. Oh wait, there's side pockets right here. Maybe that's what you were talking about. That's what you were talking about. Stuff from the side bag. It's got a whole ton of pockets. So I'm thinking probably in here somewhere. But one more. Is there one more over here? Because I know I took the bag. I know I took the bag apart and uh, looked through it. I can look at this one one more time. Yeah, cause I had all my I had all my hormones and everything. Ian, uh, not Ian, but uh, Alan. So like I knew I knew you didn't throw anything away. I was so happy about that, cause the hormones were expensive. They were like a hundred and hundred and eighty dollars, I believe. Well, I did find an edible, so that's pretty cool. I found an edible. Let me go ahead and. That's crazy how like. Is it that other bag? Did you have another bag? Was it? Uh, did I have a black one, or did I leave that here? Is it? Is it might be in that closet. But you also had another white bag with all your clothes in. I left one, but I, I don't know. Because I remember I got those two. Those two were the most important ones. Okay. Live visibility restricted. I get it. Yeah, kids. Got it. Don't follow me if you're not 21. Sorry, I get you guys. Yeah, y'all be cute. Come on. It's real life that we be talking about on here, man. I don't have to share any of this stuff with you guys. I don't have to share it whatsoever. I don't have to post. Yeah, I don't have to do anything. Regular bag here with your clothes in it. How long have you been here? Oh, that's somebody else's junk. Yeah. 
some shoes in there. Maybe. Size 13? <laughs> I'm gonna go out here and smoke a cigarette. Man, there's a there's an electrical outlet. Give me a hug, Alan. There's electrical outlets outside on the bottom. Work. I can. Yes, sir. Alan's a sh**, any guys? We love Alan. Everything's in here. Everything's good. All right, cool. I got pee right quick, y'all. I'm gonna have to go plug y'all up. And I'm gonna pee and I'm gonna go outside. I'm good. Let me see, Alan. Hold on. I'm gonna pee and I'm gonna go outside. I'm good. Let me see, Alan. Hold on. These are literally perfect. What's some good? Uh, you unblocked me. You unblocked me. Did I? Um, Nick. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey. Isn't Alan awesome, dude? Like. Belly. You don't smoke cigarettes, do you, Alan? I was gonna say if you need one, come get it. But I'm pretty sure you told me three times today you don't smoke. <laughs> oh, hey, baby. Hey, Mariah. That's the real Mariah in the chat, too. Hey, babe. You met Alan. You also met Leo, too. I don't care what bad faces you guys get on screenshots, bro. It don't matter. I just miss my little beeping peep. I miss my little beeping peep. I'm just going to see if they got a working outlet outside. Um, the hair does not look that bad. So, I'm going to hear it. I might go to the gym after this. Um, I've literally only took one shot of vodka. Like, just because, like, I don't know. I just wanted to feel something different besides what I was feeling. It's not the healthiest, best thing to do, but just how I was feeling right then. Um, all right, cool. Cigarettes. Let's go downstairs. Yeah. Um, if you guys would just give me a chance, maybe. You know, I might give you a reason to stick around. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what to do now. It's like, I went through this, uh... I went through this negative experience with the, the, the bar the other night and even though I paid them back and like everything's square and nobody's giving me a hard time, it's just like now I'm scared. Now I'm scared of another bad thing happening. Dude, where's all the electrical outlets around here, bro? Are there none? That's one thing about New Orleans, man. It's really hard to find out. Dude, that's crazy, bro. All right, I might have had to just hit this a couple times and then I guess go back in my room. Because I'm scared of people and I'm scared of everybody right now. I don't trust anybody. And there's nobody talking to me the right way for me to want to come over and spend there all day. I miss Mariah. You know what I mean? Like, I haven't slept with anybody. I haven't attempted to sleep with anybody. Like, my, my stuff don't work like that. Like, I have to like a person. You know? I've been in this industry too long. I have to really, like, unless it's about some money, I got to like somebody, bro. It won't let me write back on X. Sorry, I just got this new phone. Let me just hit this a couple times and I'm going to go in because I feel like my phone's about to. Uh, Mariah, they talking about some leave her alone. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're talking to me on, my, on your own accord, aren't you? I'm pretty sure you I'm pretty sure you reach out to me. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not me waking up. Hey, baby, will you please talk to me today? I'm pretty sure it's both of us realizing that we need to do better. So, you know, no new people is coming our way. I don't know how many people Mariah might have been with since you've been with me. Truthfully, I don't know. I really don't know people saying all type of shit but um i ain't been with nobody yet i'm over here looking like a ass i'm over here looking crazy stupid man the one thing i know how to do is plow cake the one thing i know for sure how to do no matter how long, no matter how many days no sleep no matter how many dollars in my pocket i know how to plow cake been good at it my whole life yeah no cake to be plowed could you just let us live here please and just let us try we're not using we're not doing anything we're not supposed to do and people are sending food that they didn't pay for to our room that's just, that's cruel that's very cruel like we were excited we were i'm gonna show you. because it's scary because we received threats from people on the internet and then somebody is knocking on the door and come on like we don't we're not asking to be bothered man that is not okay guys because you're on live 24 7 that means we get to be harassed we're not bothering anybody i'm a content creator it's appropriate for me to be on live 24 hours a day there isn't such thing as 24 hour streamers guys it don't matter how much time i spend on here these same people got us kicked out of our apartment. 
These same people got me walked off of jobs. These same people got me arrested at the mall. And all I'm doing is just being you guys' friend. I'm just chilling with y'all, bro. I'm not a narcissist, bro. I know, I know how to entertain people. I know how to rage bait. I'm not none of those things that any of these people say, bro. And it's like, it's they are taking it to a level, bro, that's not okay. Like, like we shouldn't have to live in fear. Like, I shouldn't have to constantly be telling my girlfriend, baby, I promise you we're going to be okay. Baby, I promise you we're going to be okay, baby. Like, I promise you. It's not fair at all. It's not fair at all for her to have to deal with that because she's not going to leave me, guys. And I want to create a safe environment for her. And that's this is not saying safety and stability. I'm just sharing my life with y'all. I can't help that it's I can't help that there's people that don't like me. That's not my fault. I hired moderators and the mods can only do so much because the Reddit page has 6,000 members. Let's take a look at some of the things from the Reddit page together, guys. Do y'all want to see what these people are doing? And they try to, they don't, you, do, you guys don't know what they're doing because most of y'all don't give a shit, right? And that's not, that's not a bad thing. Most of y'all don't give a shit enough to go see what the Reddit page is about. Or, or invest any time or effort into it. You're on TikTok to be entertained by the content creator. I fully understand that. My content has been different lately because of incidences like this. Because I, there's no reason for me to live in fear. I'm not a bad person. I got in trouble years and years and years ago. And recently somebody drugged a drink at the bar and it started a whole thing. Somebody dropped G in my drink and I broke a slushy machine and now there's so much shit happening again. I paid $700 for that slushy machine, by the way. I'm not lying about any of this shit, guys. I almost lost my life. Is that not enough? Is that not enough entertainment for you guys? Me getting tased at a Waffle House, is that not enough entertainment for you guys? Do you guys want me to go post the, the Waffle House video so you guys can have a nice laugh of me getting tased? I'll do that for you guys as soon as we get off the stream, okay? It's not fair that my girlfriend has to to be over here and be afraid. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to I'm trying to solidify my place in the content creation space and you guys don't want to allow me the opportunity to do all the same things that Jimmy does, the same thing that Joey Bidez does, the same thing that some of my friends on here Jumpsuit Pablo does. All these people do the same thing as I do, as they do. And these people have a, a past just like me. They share it. And you guys don't dox them. You guys don't try to make them feel like they need to fear for their life. Why? Why do you guys choose me to do things like this? You guys know that it's all entertainment. I can't help that my life story is true. I can't help that. I can't help that, guys. I can't help that when I go to the, like, come on. I don't want to, I don't want any enemies, man. Truly, I don't want any problems. And I'm never, ever, ever going to conduct myself in a way that would make you feel like you need to, there's no aggression here. Guys, and that's the biggest part of why people can't stand me is because I don't have a chip on my shoulder, guys. My life has been very challenging. I'm just a lot, I'm asking you guys, please, will you just let me live? I'm not a tough guy, man. I'm not a badass as far as like the violence is concerned. I don't want any trouble, man, ever. I never want any trouble, bro. I'll spar with somebody at the gym, a MMA thing. Like I'll spar with somebody, you know, for fun. But like, as far as us putting each other in harm's way, that is not what I live my life about, man. I don't have anything to prove to anybody, guys. And I have severe mental health problems. So I choose to use the gym to cope with my mental health. It's not so that way people could can think that nothing, it's nothing like that. I only go to the gym to take care of the way that I look. I've never hurt anybody. I've been severely, dude, you guys, some of you have seen it happen in real time. Some of you viewing me right now have literally seen the things that people are discussing and you're not saying anything. You're just letting this shit snowball into something that could potentially get me hurt again. Dude, People in this world today are absolutely insane. Guys, I was unhinged when I was using and relapsing. I'm not a bad person when I'm sober. I'm sober. 
Mariah is sober. Do you guys know that when you met us on TikTok, we were drinking every day? When we met, when you guys met us, we were full-blown alcoholics. Of course, a person is gonna not probably make all the right decisions and say all the right things when they are abusing alcohol. Plus, attention from the internet. You guys have to understand that this number right here is the most important thing. This, these two numbers are the most important thing to a content creator. When these numbers are high, anything can happen. We, should, we shouldn't have to worry about this. I had to go to Reddit. I had to go, I know, I, we don't go out of our way to bother anybody. Guys, we get messages, text messages. We get page long letters of people having the worst things that you could possibly say to a person. They send it to us. And do you know at the most, do you know what we say? Hope your day gets better, blocked. Hope your day gets better, blocked. I just wanted to be you guys' friend. I just wanted to own my, my problems and, and overcome my obstacles, man. I just wanted to show you guys a person in real life who was grateful for life, bro. A person who really jumped off the porch for real and had those experiences and came back to tell the story. I came back from all that. I came back from Skid Row. I came back from the French Quarter in New Orleans, bro, to tell you guys, bro. Life is worth living the right way without harmful chemicals in your system. And I go to the gym instead of go to the bar. I go to the gym instead of go to the bar, bro. And, and if you guys are suffering consequences in your life because of rugs and alcohol, maybe, you know, you guys might find success in the gym too if you take it seriously. That's, that's my whole thing. That's it. That's all Nick's trying to do here. Hey, guys. I fucking hate myself. Hey, guys. I hate myself, dude. I fucking hate myself so bad. But when I go to the gym, bro, it makes it all go away for just a, just a little while, bro. Until it's time to come back here to the office. And then I see just how much everybody seems to feel the same way I do about me. Seems like everybody just seems to feel the exact same way I do about me. How do I fix this? What can we do to help? The only thing you guys can do to help is just give me a chance to be here. I'm not going to you guys over i'm gonna keep showing up i'm not gonna screw you guys over for giving me a chance and supporting me i know this is my last chance guys i know that i've disappointed some people okay i'm sorry but i just need one more chance to prove bro that i'm really i'm really ready to be the best nicholas that i can be bro and i'm really ready to be the best man that i can be to mariah bro and the best TikToker that I can be to my viewers, bro, and my supporters, bro, and and, and you know what, Fuck, man, we need. The truth is, we need trolls. Truth is, I don't want a comment section full of simp's. I want you to be your own person. I want you to like. I want. I want to get to know things about you guys, bro. I want. This is a relationship, man. It's a give and take. We, as a chat, as a collective, as a hive mind, right? us together could dominate this app if we could just figure out how to get along there's always so many of us here every day bro i'm telling y'all i want to do tiktok and i want to do the internet bro i want to do this shit. i know i'm entertaining enough for you guys to shit. i know i'm entertaining enough for you guys to fuck with me every day bro i want to be i want to be your streamer bro i want to be the person that you guys watch okay but i don't want none of this shit to be fake I don't want none of this shit to be fake, bro. I got to get the views, but telling the truth seems to be what's working for me. I got to do some collabs with people, bro. I got to show TikTok that I'm not dangerous. I got to show TikTok that I'm not crazy, that the things that happened in the past, that was the past. And most of that shit has been twisted around before it got to you. Most of that has been taken and twisted around before that shit got to you, bro. And you done heard a whole different story. That's not even the truth. And you were over here hating me. Because you're over here trying, man, I'm just trying to be myself and that be it, guys. I told y'all the truth about everything, bro. I showed y'all pictures of me back before I lost weight, before I got the eye surgery, bro. I showed you guys, I gave you all kind of content. You know, the internet is not, the internet is, is a messed up place, guys. But please don't put me in harm's way. 
please don't make me feel like I need to be in fear, bro. Like when guys, this right here was not cool, bro. Guys, this bro sending a pizza to my door, making me think, making me think that a like, bro, like what's going on, bro? Like that nobody paid for that. Like you can't do that, guys. That is so scary to me. That was terrifying, guys. Because man, I had to be, I had to be smart. I'm, t I'm taking a picture. As soon as I see something weird, I'm taking a picture, or streaming live, bro. As soon as I see anything weird happen, just know it's live happening on live, bro. So any person that pulls up on me, any person that, you know, anything like that, my phone is always, always on. I was scared because it's not the pizza man that's scary. It was the fact that somebody sent it here and it wasn't us. I'm not paranoid, bro. Somebody sends a pizza to your door, you'd probably be a little bit upset too. Look, somebody said we always watching. Look, somebody said we always watching. See, somebody doing this shit intentionally and they're, and they're going to laugh about this in Reddit later, guys. Let's look at what the Reddit page does. Okay, y'all, this is why, guys. This is the reason why I'm homeless. This is the reason why I don't have a nine to five. This is the reason why a lot of things happen, guys. And I've been dealing with this for over a year. People have been stalking me on the internet for over a year, much longer than a year. I've only been aware of it in a malicious fashion for about a year now. I didn't know people hated me this much. When I got big time content creators coming out telling me, Nick, bro, you know you got a Reddit page about you, right? You know they're crazy, right? I was like, bro, they're like, I got big time content creators telling me, dude, I saw the Reddit and boy, I don't know what you're going to do, but you're going to have to do something, man. So that's why I'm showing up every day and I'm here all day for y'all. I don't hide nothing from y'all. I let y'all see the truth. I let y'all see me when, when I'm tired, when I ain't washed my face, when I haven't showered in two days, I'll let y'all see every thing, man, just for me to have to be scared all the time. I don't like being scared, man. Uh, like that's we you saw mm, I love y'all so much. I love some of y'all so much man That's why I give y'all all of me some of y'all are so worth it to me I've went to some of y'all's pages and I've scoped out your content I've seen what you and your kids look like. I've seen bits and pieces of y'all's stories Some of y'all are so inspirational man I cried because of some of y'all's TikToks. I'm not mr. Cool guy, bro. I'm not some of y'all's TikToks are dead ass made me cry, bro. That's how that's how deep that shit was. That's how real that transformation was. I'm not like everybody else, bro. I'm just a TikToker too, man. I'm just a person that enjoys the app too, bro. I stream, man, because I, I found that people sometimes enjoy watching me. You know, I didn't know. I'm really not this bad person that everybody's trying to say that I am. Please just don't please just don't scare me like this again, guys. This shit was terrifying, man. I got so excited. I was like, oh, shit, pizza, you order some food? And then, no. And, okay, well, hey, sorry, you might have the wrong door. Um, what's the name on the order? It said Mariah Fowler. What the fuck? Mariah Fowler. What the fuck? Okay, um, maybe it's a gift from a family member or something. He's like, oh, nah, this ain't been paid for yet. Okay, well, did I get it? We okay, chat? Yeah, we're going to have to change rooms. We're gonna have to change rooms, so we're gonna do that in a little bit. See, the people that, the, like, we love this place, like, we live here now. Tomorrow, I'm gonna use my whole check. I'm gonna use my whole check tomorrow to get seven days. Like, I'm doing everything I can to take care of this situation. And I'm trying to be more self-respecting. I'm trying to not rage bait as much, you know what I'm saying? Like, and rage bait, to me, is just when, giddy up, yeehaw, let's go. When I when I, when I'm doing rage bait, all that is is me just not having a filter. That's just me just it's just me speaking my mind and people get really mad when I speak my mind. People get really mad when I display intelligence and the things that I say make sense and it goes against their fundamental values and beliefs. Uh, the front desk is not giving information. They're fully aware of the situation here and um, they are supportive as long as we are um, trying our best to make sure that we're you know, like we keep this room immaculately clean. Hold on. Two addicts in recovery, bro. Two addicts in recovery, streaming their recovery. Two addicts in recovery, streaming their recovery journey and sharing their recovery journey on TikTok. 
That's all this is, bro. Why do we have to live in fear? Why should we have to live in fear? When I have Mr. Positive Potato here, I, <clears throat> I may be a tiny potato, but I believe in you. Your thing. And then I got Mr. Um, I got Mr. Uh, Lemon Drop here. And then I got this that I found, and I made a TikTok of me finding it at Walgreens. It says, "Be kind." Somebody made it in 2024, and it's a really pretty rock. And it has a flower on it. And I made you guys a TikTok when I found it. Um, so I got some positivity stuff going right here. And we got a clean, a clean living and clean clothes. And um, we are speaking positivity into our life, bro. And we are um, loving each other. The best way that we know how to is just two broken people. As just two broken people trying to and get through this unfair cruel ass world bro that nobody cares about anybody bro like everybody just cares about themselves and thinks that they're better than everybody bro and it's i don't think that we're supposed to live this way i don't think we're supposed to live and think this way and and i don't think we're supposed to see every person as an opponent i don't think we're supposed to view the world the way that a lot of us seem to and mariah is not pregnant Somebody just posted about it on Reddit. Okay, let's get back to the Reddit page. Y'all ready? Let's get back to the Reddit page and show you guys what these... Okay, these people don't even know us. All right, for those of y'all that are new here, this has been going on for over a year. Thank you, Bruya. Thank you so much, Bruya, for the Galaxy. I got 50 push-ups for you in just a minute. Thank you so much for the Galaxy, guys. That's my favorite gift. I really... Just went and got the content. Are you guys ready? Yo, uh, moderately average. Uh, join the live. Let's tell them how you and me met. Let's tell them how we met in SLA and how you and me was two positive ass people in there busting our ass working at Sterilite. Can you help me, bro? These people are trying to act like I'm just dumb, bro. Can you help me? Moderately average. I'll follow you, bro. Moderately average, bro. Do you feel like going live with me, bro? Uh, moderately average is a friend of mine. I've been friends with him for several years. We're both in recovery. Some people know me because of real life. Shit. A lot of people know me because of real life. Shit. I used to work at Sterilite. I worked at the chicken farm in Greenville. All right, so let's talk about the Reddit. I'll get back to him in a minute if he feels like it. All right, so look, guys. So this is what you. This is what people are taking seriously. People are taking this seriously, and it's causing major consequences in my life and let's see what serious discussions these people these grown people these people that make six figures a year remember this guys they all have the they all have the best life remember they're all rich and all these things homeowners with several vehicles and all this stuff right guys okay so all right so this is what they're spending their time doing guys to me okay they got, look, look, lives, because they, they have to make a post every single time I go online. Cringy flexing gets its own category. I know this. Manipulation tactic by going live is a manipulation tactic. Okay, so then here we got, okay. This is all they're doing, guys. This is all they're doing. They're, this They just, they wait for me to make a face or something, and then they go have hour-long discussions about it. Look, remember when I did this on purpose the other day? Remember when I did this on purpose the other day? Look, I knew it. See, like I don't care. Do you guys think I care? Like, only thing I care about is how people are giving me consequences in my real life because of the way you guys are acting. It's not because of me. It's because of you guys spending all of your time thinking about me, talking about me, worrying about me, and I ain't nobody. I'm trying to show y'all I ain't fucking nobody, bro. I ain't nobody to be worried about. Bro, look at this shit, man. Come on, bro. You think I don't know what the hell's going on? I did this on purpose, bro. And you guys are just, you, y'all are the crazy ones, not me. I am definitely not the crazy one here. Okay, look at this. You guys are taking time and effort. You guys are taking time and effort. That's, you guys are mad because I, I have pictures like this where I look pretty decent. I look decent in these photos and then you guys want to go and talk shit about me. Okay, whatever. Just don't try to hurt me in real life. I don't care what you guys do on the internet. Stop getting me kicked out of places. This is what y'all are doing. This is what y'all are doing. But I have to get kicked out of somewhere because this isn't enough? No. Bro, 
They spend all their time every day waiting on me to go live so they can do shit like this. Come on, bro. Jealousy, bro. And dude, I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine what actual famous people go through. Could you guys imagine being a, a real famous person? Guys, I'm just a person that went viral on TikTok multiple times, like dozens of times. But guys, I'm just Nick at the end of the day. I'm just a person who uses a free app on a cell phone, much like you guys, every single day. Okay? And look, single day. Okay? And look, much like you guys, every single day. Okay? And look. You gone slow? I've got you right where I want you, chat. All right? Yeah, so I know that it's cringe. I know that it's cringe. Cringe works if you can handle it. Nicholas can handle the cringe. I can handle the cringe. I am immune. I have made myself immune to embarrassment. Okay? It, it, because, guys, when now when the entertainment part of the personality has to go away, you see that I have a decent head on my shoulders, guys. And that's the part that they don't like. They don't like that really at the end of the day, 90% of the time, I'm controlling too except for i have a platform and when i troll it puts money in my pocket when i'm trolling it puts money in my pocket when they troll they barely do it for 15 likes and that's the part that they can't understand they can't understand that every time i come on the screen i ratio them into oblivion i don't even have to acknowledge it i don't even have to give them uh, a, a witty comeback all I have to do is come on the screen and the engagement takes care of the rest. And I've already flexed on them just by going live. Just by going live, I flex. Does that make sense? Because some of these people don't understand how social media works. All right. So that's how they are building their platform. They have 6,000 members. Okay. Remember earlier? Y'all, Nick's mod is in the other dude's live talking about him. Oh, really now? Oh, you mean Emily? Oh, no. And then I went to the photo. Don't worry, Emily. I know it's not you. Oh, no. I went to the photo and I saw that the commenter said a negative thing about me and it had Emily's, it had Emily's photograph. They're all liars. They're all liars and manipulators. They all call me a liar and a manipulator and a gaslighter and this and that because they're the ones really doing it. They went to Emily. They, they are abusing Emily. Emily doesn't, didn't, Emily is new. She is a new friend of mine, a new supporter and a new moderator. And she's actually doing a really better job than like, anybody ever has. Max, Colt, uh, Emily, and Leah Garcia have been killing it along with Mariah. And they're all abusing the crap out of Emily. They're abusing the crap out of her. And they're trying to get, like they were expecting me to say, oh yeah, well I think Emily... I think I'm going to fire Emily because of this. That's what they want to see happen. They want to see me come on here after Emily supported me, all those gifts, all the stuff that she's done for me. She offered to pay my phone bill the other day. I said no. She offered to pay my phone bill the other day because she, she's just she's showing me love, man. I said no, bro. I can't. No. I said no. It's too much, Emily. I love you so much. You're doing an amazing job, and I'm going to do make protecting you my priority if we have to go make uh, a, a backup account and i have to come on here and do a live and be like all right you're fired emily and then they're not going to know who you are on that other account so be it it is what it is but if you if you are riding for me the way you have been you've been riding you're a loyal friend i want it what can i do what chat i need a couple of us matter of fact I need a couple of us to come together and do something nice for Emily, bro. Let's let's figure out a piece of content that I can make at least at the very least. At the very least, I could do I could do all kinds of things for her because look at what she's doing for us. So at the very least, I need to make her a TikTok at the very least. But we need to figure out a way to do it that it's going to be uh, it's going to be for Emily, bro. Let's figure out a way to put a smile on Emily's face because she's keeping she's keeping it safe for us, man. Yeah, we need to do something nice for Emily. I need to make I, I'll lip sync to her favorite song. I'll I'll do whatever, whatever thing that's gonna make her laugh. That because I'm her TikToker. 
that's what I keep trying to show you guys is that I want to be your TikToker, bro. That means one day you can see me come on to FYP doing some wild ass, unhinged, crazy, girly looking shit. But you got to know that one of my supporters got me to make that video for them, got me to put on a dress, got me to put on lipstick or whatever and flex into the video because one of my supporters asked me to do that. That's the type of TikToker I'm trying to be for y'all, bro. And coming up with the best ideas, you know, you guys as the chat, it's about you guys as being entertained. This is about you guys being entertained, bro. And I know that. So let's make this shit happen. Let's make this shit happen. Whatever y'all want to see me do, bro, nothing's off the table. As long as, long, as long as I can do it on TikTok and it's not, fuck, it's not racist or homophobic or transphobic. I get hiccups. So, yeah, they sent a pizza to our door, guys. And trying to scare us. Had not to show up. Tiny Donnie. Let's go. Tiny Donnie. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry, guys. Bro, the way that she was just... The way that she was just crying, bro. I don't want to see that again, man. Please. What, what can I say? It's my fault. Damn it, bro. Why do I have such bad hiccups right now? I'm my best, y'all. What do you want me to do? They got settled. Some food. You want me to go get us some food? Um, All right, we all stuck with me. I promise you, I promise you guys, you're not okay. okay. Let's fast forward and let's get through this drama, okay? And, and let's say I go on to become really successful on this app. Let's say I go on to get a, a million followers, okay? Which, in the grand scheme of things, isn't a lot, but it is. You know? Do you think? That when things get good, things are gonna switch up. You think I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop caring about the viewer? Do you think that you know I'm gonna lose touch with who I was when I came here? I just, man, there's so many things that I don't have to tell the truth about, and I choose to. It's almost like a form of self sabotage. It's almost like, it's almost like I would rather, I would rather go ahead and get this bad thing out of the way, so that way I'm the one that exposed me for it, not you. Does that make sense? Nick, it's obvious that you're doing better. I don't know how people don't don't see it. So I'm gonna say something that's gonna make you guys cringe because uh, it made me cringe. One of the mods, I'm not even gonna give them the clout by saying their name because I know who they are. I know who they are in real life, but one of the mods on Reddit, I hate hiccups guys, I'm sorry. One of the mods on Reddit said, nah, nah, we, we guys, I heard he's gonna, <laughs> I heard he's gonna try to do a redemption arc. Yeah, we can't let him, we can't, we gotta sabotage this. We can't let him succeed at having a redemption arc on TikTok. That's the words that they used. They literally said, redemption arc. This is somebody's real life, okay? This isn't, a, this, is, this isn't a gym talk edit. This isn't, this is, this is somebody's real life. My life and her life. We can't allow him to be successful in his up and coming redemption arc on TikTok. Are you kidding me? And all I'm posting is me going to work and me going to the gym and me trying to start a coaching business and me trying to not ever be intoxicated on bad things ever. Come on. What is wrong with you guys? This is a human being. They call, they said that right now, my presence, this is my attempt at a redemption arc. Like, I'm 31 years old. I had to go look that up. What does that even mean? Okay, cool. It is TikTok speak. It's TikTok lingo. Something you're only ever going to hear on TikTok. <laughs> Redemption arc. <laughs> Hate you for your past, yet won't let you move on. It's weird. Thank you. I still have to discuss things that, that did help. That did help. Thank you. I got to discuss this with y'all every day and it's not fair so this is what they want to do they're gonna run okay guys actually i just gotta power through it because they want me they're trying to they're trying to do the same thing that they do to kanye west and people like that people people all right they want to make somebody or or britney or, or all right cool don't go to his tiktok don't go to his twitter don't go to his instagram 
That's where you could see the things he's doing and he's posting himself. No, go over here to this Reddit page. Go over here to this fake TikTok page. Go over here to this other content creator that he's never even spoke to before and listen to all this gossip. Instead, you are going to help boost our engagement because we're content creators ourselves. We just don't have a talent. We just don't have anything worth watching or worth talking about to offer the community. So we're going to post Nick and we're going to we're going to live record Nick and we're going to make memes out of Nick because he gets a thousand viewers in his live chat every day. So we know it's guaranteed content. So we need to make him look crazy though. Like we don't want anybody to hear him or see him functioning or speaking with sense or from a good angle or good lighting. You guys notice I'm wearing a t-shirt. I haven't shown you guys my body. I haven't shown you guys my huge biceps even one time. My teeth are starting to whiten. Uh, you know, like I did something with my hair that's not like bright ass pink. Like I'm trying to show you guys a little bit of maturity here and I'm trying to grow through this situation. I even got my tattoos fixed for y'all last year. Guys, I would have never took the gym as seriously as I took the gym if it wasn't for people watching me on TikTok, guys. That's the part you guys are missing is that I got all my gains right in front of y'all's faces. I did everything, everything that happened, I did in real time on TikTok and the trolls won't let it go. Like, can we not talk about how when I came to the app, I was like, I, nobody would have asked me for fitness advice. When I first came to the app, bro, I was unimpressive, average as fuck looking. And now I feel confident about helping people get in shape. Like, there's so many things that I did. I graduated the rehab, bro. I've never graduated a rehab before. I graduated Solutions Recovery Center because I had people on TikTok supporting me. And you guys forget these things. Why do we forget these things, guys? My, I, it's always been just my life posted. It's always been just me sharing my story. It's always been me going live with a roommate in the f***ing rehab. I'm going live with a whole nother dude living in my room. And now you guys are mad because I got a female in here. It's crazy, bro. Emily, I'm just going to talk to you. I'm just going to talk to you and the supportive people. You know, because look what they spend their time doing. I mean, they sent me a pizza. Look, this I'm just saying, guys, this is ridiculous, man. Find something better to do. Find something better to do with your time than stalk me on the Internet and watch me and screen record me and make memes out of me and discuss. Look at look at this. Look how it's literally paragraphs of this shit. Guys, look how it's paragraphs of this shit, man. These guys are spending brain power on this shit, bro. Watch, that's you. I haven't even shown you guys the content yet. I haven't even shown you guys what's inside. These are just a few examples of categories, of categories that they have on this website. This is this is more. This is crazier than I ever would have imagined, guys. These women, it's women doing this, grown ass women doing this. Ain't no men involved. Ain't no men at all in that. All females doing this shit, bro. Look at this shit. This is absolutely insane. He's live, everybody. Y'all, share the live, bro. I want more people to see this shit. Look, two days ago, five hours ago, three days ago. What is this? Three days ago. They have announcements that they make, bro. They make announcements every time I go live a whole nother website announces to people that Nicholas is back on the screen y'all hey y'all everybody pay attention Nick just went live guys well come on everybody wake up we got content to go get now if I was some boring average ass fucker I don't know if, if other websites would be announcing to the public to 6,000 people that I'm live huh huh that's Pretty weird. Uh, what is it about this Nicholas person? Is he, uh, what movie was he in? Was he in a movie or something? Oh, maybe he had a really successful business and now he has commercials all over the place. Oh, he doesn't? What do you, what do you mean he's a homeless recovering drug addict? And you got a whole separate website that he's not affiliated with, with 6,000 daily members being announced. He's live. He's live. He's live on TikTok. He's live again. Holy fuck. Wow. 
He must be a very important person to you guys. Wow. I know we are all compelled by the shit show, but that level of investment into his life is, hold on, I'm trying to see the rest, is a red flag. It's a huge red flag, thank you. Yes, my life is a shit show. I didn't lie to you guys about that, but this level of commitment is a major red flag. This is not healthy. And this is what people are participating in when I'm not, when I'm not live, this is what they're doing. This is their brand of content. So my brand of content is me showing you guys me and my truth and my life experience and my daily Nicholas things, okay? And Mariah things, okay? That's my brand of content. None of it's fake. None of it has anything to do with anybody else. I don't need anybody else's clout. All my views came because of me and her, okay? So this is how they get their views, also because of me. All right, let's see what else we can find. Okay. I just want to explain to the people that don't understand what's going on. Okay, there's 6,000 people paying attention to this instead of coming over and hanging out with me to see that, hey, Nick will actually be your friend. Nick remembers you when you come into the chat. Nick will acknowledge you. But with this going on, it's a major distraction and it's scary and it's causing consequences in my life. All right, so next thing. Um, okay, so that, by the way, goes on for several pages. This is look, six days. This goes on for several pages. Okay, look, seven days, a whole, whole, look, he's live talking about his situation, live again, live. Like, they are so pressed. There's like thousands of people pressed about me just existing on the internet, guys. Okay, so, what is this? Huh, huh. Uh, this post is to, I can't see what it says through the TikTok live thing, all of Nick Lore. Okay, so Nicholas has lore since when? Since when has Nick Lore been a thing? Well, ask Reddit because I wasn't aware of it until very recently. I didn't know what Nick Lore was until, until Reddit informed me that there is a such thing as Nicholas Lore. So I guess I, me being the, you know, me being the cool, uh, elder emo guy, like 31 year old, hanging out with all the cool young hip people. I'm playing along with it. You'll see a few videos of me saying, oh guys, I'm doing it for the lore, right? Because I've been to the Reddit page and I know that you guys are calling my life Nick Lore now. So, Nicky Bingo. Okay, hold on. Nick Lore and the must unhinged moments with Nicholas Keeley Harris. That's my full name. Why is my full name right there? Why you guys got my full name posted? AKA Nick from the gym, fit with Nick, Nick is a wreck 864, Nick wins, or Jack's janitor. That's ridiculous, guys. You know, you know all my nicknames and screen names? Tried to get these in some sort of order. Let's start slow. Nicky Bingo, easier medium. What? You guys are playing bingo? Wow, you guys can play bingo to see how much gossip you have learned about my true life on the internet since you started following me for malicious reasons. So if you guys want to test your uh, trivia, your Nicholas trivia, you can go here and play Nicky Bingo here on the Reddit page. So if you guys want to test your uh, trivia, your Nicholas trivia, you can go here and play Nicky Bingo here on the Reddit page. Easier medium. Aces. All right. Look, no, I'm not. Get your screenshots. Get your screenshots. It's already letting you know. Hey, guys, when you see them live, get your screenshots. I know that too, okay? Tongue, tongue. I vape, and sometimes my tongue gets a little bit of film on it. I do not have thrush, okay? It's just a tongue. All right. The face I make when police check cavities. Cheese tooth, bursting out of the cage. Um, kratom lick, embarrassing. Body shake faces. Uh, cut up shawty. Chris, I don't know who that is. Mm. Okay. And thank you for the water, baby. I love you so much. You're the most amazing woman that I've ever met in my entire life. I will feed you. I'm doing something, please. I'm trying to prove a point. All right, guys. So that's just the beginning of the list. Okay. Whoa. This is starting to turn into a lot of information here. Huh. Okay. Kratom Lick, embarrassing uh, body shake faces, caked up shoddy, Chris Chan, ankle biter, period poo. Bottom, Big Ed, Kratom, Kratom Spill Faces, Snakey Nicky, Met, Little Nicky, Tiny Donnie, Roses, Peach Ice Cream, Turkey, Tiny Donnie, Roses, Tiny Donnie, Rose, Peach Ice Cream, Turkey. <laughs>
Peach ice cream, turkey. <laughs> Bro is low key funny, thank you. <laughs> Hold on, guys. What? Stop, go away. I want to talk to people on that right now. This is just the beginning. Okay, look, little Nikki, tiny Donnie Rose, tiny Donnie Rose, peach ice cream, turkey, peach ice cream. I was in a wheelchair once. They're making fun of me because I was in a wheelchair. Hey, guys, did you know that like seven years ago, I, I was in a wheelchair? Yeah. Okay. I try to make it funny so that way you guys don't feel sad when I tell you the truth about my life. Okay. I try to make it funny so you guys don't think I'm trying to sell you some sad story. Guys, I don't know if you knew this about me or not, but uh, <laughs> I was in a wheelchair. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Me. I went through that challenge. That's right. I overcame that. that. Yeah, dude. Like, I, I know how cringe all of it is. But the truth is, is, chat, I was in a wheelchair. Sure was. And I fucking overcame it. So, haha. Did you overcome a wheelchair? I'm sorry. Did you overcome obstacles? <laughs> I know I did. You know what I mean? But I'm not really sure if you, you know, persevered against all odds like I did. Peeping Peep loves me. Like I did. Peeping Peep loves me. You know why? Because I didn't let a wheelchair define me. <laughs> okay? I, I beat a wheelchair. Okay? Everybody has an, a, a wheelchair in their life that they could overcome, guys. I love you, man. Let me, let me stop with the BS for a second, guys. I love on my woman. I'm sorry. Are you okay, babe? Why not, baby? You believe that we're going to be okay? I mean, I love you so much, baby. I promise you. Nothing's gonna, nothing is going to stop us from surviving, at least, okay? I'm trying to get it to where we're going to be thriving and everything's going to be a fairy tale and we're going to get our happy ending, baby. But we just got some... Uh, people just want to bring out the worst in us. And we don't have to let them bring the worst out. Because they know that we have problems and they know that we can be triggered. So all we have to do, baby, is just not allow ourselves but to be I triggered. Allow people not to trigger me. We, have to, we have to figure out ways for us to cope and we have to lean on each other. That's the biggest thing, baby. We, we are in this situation. The universe put us in this situation with each other to force us into love, to force us into loving each other, to force us into love to force us into loving each other the right way and get us away from our toxic behavior, babe. It's forcing us to grow. We get away from it by treating each other the best that we can. Like We don't run from it. I don't think we run from it, babe. I think we keep showing up and we just show them our best. Sometimes our best might just be, I might mean doing less. You know, I have to come on here and I have to keep the viewers, but nobody ever has to see me get upset with you. Nobody ever has to see me get frustrated with you. They pick up, they're not dumb people. They pick up on everything. They pick up on body language. They pick up on mannerisms. They pick up on, they pick up on tone of voice. So they could just see me handle the pressure a little bit better as a man and start to be a little bit more mature. I don't know, baby. I don't know. I gotta do it, baby, but I just gotta, I just gotta show them that A, I'm worth watching. I'm worth paying attention to. And B, we don't want to be toxic to each other anymore. Like we, put, us being in this situation, the, the silver lining that I have in this situation is that I really love Mariah. Like when we first got together, I wasn't really sure how, what I thought and how to feel about everything because I was graduating a rehab. I had a year of consistent abstinence, 100% abstinence. And I ended up relapsing with Mariah on a beer and it caused a really big fight. And I think honestly, I was blaming her and it was just a lot, it just, it brought out the worst in me and that got us in a lot of trouble. And then, and then I made me resent her. Like now that I've had time to process all this, you know, I blamed her, then I resented her, you know? And then I was basically just trying to like, we were using each other. We were using each other. We both were, cause we didn't want to sleep around, around town. Cause Greenville is not the place to do that, you know, just, so we didn't, you know, we didn't, we didn't want to like sleep with other people, but we didn't want to be partners to each other. We didn't want to treat each other with respect. And it just kept blowing up in our faces. But I had to keep doing social media and we was making so much money on Twitter. We couldn't stay away from each other. So it's like now that we've been doing this for a couple years, 
and we've seen the consequences. We've seen the consequences of us not being grateful, of us not taking it seriously, uh, of just just taking it, just taking each other for granted. We've had some serious consequences of us taking each other for granted, and we ain't never gonna take each other for granted again, bro. You're not guaranteed to find somebody in this life that loves you, bro. You're not guaranteed that. You're not guaranteed to find somebody that you're attracted to, that you enjoy being around. You're not guaranteed any of that. I don't care how good you think you look. Even me talking, saying right now, there's no guarantee that another woman is coming after Mariah. There's no guarantee. Okay? We are going to be okay, I promise. I promise, baby. Whatever I have to do to make sure that we are okay and to make sure that we are safe and to make sure that we're okay, I promise you. I don't want to be harassed anymore either, baby. It's just the thought that somebody would even want to. Mm-hmm. It's just the it's the risk that somebody would even want to approach us. I clock in and take talk live like a nine to five, bro. And we don't even know these people. It's insane. Like, they almost literally did on the whole shout out with you. Nah, that was still cool of them. Oh boy. <laughs> that was still cool of them to say they loved us this morning. So we still gonna have a good day for them to say they loved us this morning. So we still gonna have a good day. We might be scared for a minute, and we might go through something for a minute, or we might be upset with each other for a minute, but both of us are comfortable with each other, and we know that it's safe, and I'm not gonna, we're not gonna hurt each other. Me too, baby. Thank you for sticking by me through this. Because that's what they want to do, too. They want to yeah, break I, us up. They want me to dip out. They want yeah. you to leave me because of TikTok. Well, okay. I got 20 bucks. Let me eat some food, baby. Can I go get her some food? And we'll come back and talk about this more. I love you, baby. We just want to feel safe. We ain't never hurt nobody. We just hurt ourselves. We ain't never stole nothing from nobody. Nothing, bro. There ain't no reason for anybody. To... We ain't did no dirt. Nothing. Oh, no. Nah, we just ain't been crazy towards each other, bro. So there ain't no reason. So there really ain't no reason for nobody to pull up on me talking about some what's happening. <laughs> talking about some yo, yo, you ready to throw the dukes up? There ain't no reason for nobody to never do that. Um, so just like if you do see us outside, hey, I'll give you a we'll just, hey, give her a hug. I don't care, whatever. But just don't like stop scaring us. Like we should never feel like we're in danger. That's not fair to do that to a person when y'all know how social media works, guys. Y'all know we got to do what we got to do to get our name out there, bro. I got to do what I got to do to get my name out there, bro. And, and just guys i gotta get my name out there i gotta get my story out there and then i gotta hit y'all with the the uh, the reason to stay y'all know the story y'all know who i am all right now look at the work i'm doing all right guys now look at how i changed remember this because just because you seeing just because come on begging me at this point where (laughs) i'm begging y'all please guys (laughs) all right we gotta go get her food all right Supportive people, I love you. We both love you. We showing up. We're doing our best. We trying. We'll be back. Let's have a positive topic of discussion. It's y'all's chat when we get back. We'll have an open discussion. We will be here. We will be here. It's y'all's y'all's chat when we get back. Oh, shit, man. Look, as soon as the money, as soon as the money comes, everybody looking for that, man. Good night. You got bills. Now you got man. Fuck it. I'd almost rather be homeless. I'd almost rather be homeless. I've been doing it this long. Fuck. I ain't got to answer to nobody. All I got to do is make sure I get to that empress at the end of the night. That's it. I ain't sleeping outside. I don't care what I got to do. Let's get no set. No, get, go get some rest and go. <laughs> Run away. 25, I'll take it. I don't know why, why I'm running, though. What I'm running from? I don't run from nothing. Listen, in regards to anything, if a person sets boundaries clearly and respectfully and responsibly, then they don't have to run from anything. Because they see it coming before it happens, and they respectfully step away. And until those boundaries are crossed, we all have a right to be wherever we want to be, experience whatever we want to experience. Listen, I'll make up my mind on that. So, boom. Uh, Yeah, but history's in the past. Sometimes people need the opportunity to have a chance to be different. Um, it's a, uh... I wasn't, I didn't start. take the phone and run. I would never take anybody's lifeline. But hey, if you're saying run, you're still watching the live. So if he's so bad, why are you sticking around? If it's to see the fall, 
then that's pretty shitty too. So maybe you're a bad person also. I'm just saying. Be careful before we judge. Because at the end of the day, when, when it's all said and done, all we have is ourselves. We came in with a Yahweh. Yahweh. And we go out with one. Yahweh. So be careful. Thanks for the backup on that. I appreciate it. Yeah. Bros of New Orleans and it's celebration. I have a dagger on my hip because it was part of my outfit earlier. So steady while you're over there sitting on the screen judging. Ah, you're fun. Come to New Orleans. Work at a bar that closes at 6 a.m. You get off work and you come outside and get on TikTok. And whatever you had on. And, and for every one, there's a billion yeses. So I'll take the yeses all day. Thank you. It's a uh, Garden Quartz. Ace is king. Y'all didn't know? I straightened my crown. Two straight men acting. Listen, the only thing straight about me is I'm straight to the next person that makes me feel good. Whatever oh, come it looks on, like. Keep it real now. So, I'm sorry. If I'm with a chick and she's not treating me right and I got to do the will, I'm there. But really, how are you treating yourself? How are you treating yourself? Was I working or partying? Well, look at my face. Looks like I was working. And life is a party. You shouldn't need anything for that. And why you got to be worried about what somebody's doing? You don't have nothing to do? Oh, oh sorry. Nosy.